Hello Aries, this is your mid-December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Aries, so keep that in mind. This is for Aries, mid-December 2018. Aries, mid-December 2018. Hoping you're having a good December so far. We'll see what the incoming energies are. So five card spread. In the middle of the month, I like to get a five card spread in, instead of the full Celtic cross. But the beginning energy is the eight of wands. Communications may be off for the last few days. Could have been from Mercury and retrograde we just had. But that's the beginning incoming energy for this. That you may have missed a message or you're just not really in a talkative mood. It's about swiftness. It's about settling down. It's about slowing down also. But let's see what's going on. Something sneaky happened. Something underhanded. Something you weren't expecting. Whether you did it or somebody else did it. It's the Seven of Swords. It's in the upright. With the Seven of Swords in the upright. It's like I said. Something maybe underhanded happened. Or something... You may be flying under the radar, or someone just didn't tell you everything. The Seven of Swords, it's, it's not always that people are 100% sneaky. Sometimes people just like to keep things under wraps, for and for good reasons. Could be for all kinds of reasons, but I'll get more clarification here in just a second. Seven of Swords, in the past, why are you there for Aries in mid-December 2018? Why are you there for Aries? No give and take. That's the Six of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Usually someone gives somebody something when it's in the upright. They're helping out. They're working things out. They're, 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 it's teamwork almost in a, in a way. Balancing and it's not there. Can I get another card for the Seven of Swords in the upright and the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Do we have to do with a lover? Or partnerships, because that's the lover's card in the upright. You can leave it in the comments if you've been in a situation where things were dealt with, like I said, under the radar without someone knowing. And if someone was a give and take, and it has to do with a partnership of some sort. You, obstacles. Someone's not wanting to battle or fight. It also could be that you feel defeated and don't know how to come out of it. Or the person around you feels defeated. You want to come un become, become, become unchained. Try to get these words out. You want to try to come out of that. And maybe you're having trouble doing so. And maybe you're having trouble um, for some of you, not all of you. You're having trouble extinguishing the arguments. And you want to stop this. But I'll round this all up when I'm finished to find out for sure. If I need another card for the Five of Swords and the Devil in Reverse for Aries. This is more personal. Yeah, you don't, you don't see good things coming in. You don't see your prizes coming in. The things you love coming in. The things you're passionate about. And it could be that you just don't want to argue and fight. And you don't want to be chained to a certain situation. And that's the obstacle. Current environment. Not holding things back. You're letting loose, possibly. <sighs> I see that obstacle. You're not wanting to fight. You're not able to move on. You're not holding back. You'll let people know what you're thinking, possibly. Because it could be some of you may be spending too much. And you're... You're not moving on to better things. Now, in the last reading, a lot of Aries were doing very well in the end and having success. But this, in this reading, I don't know if it's for the same Aries or a different set of you. But some of you are just maybe spending too much or you're just not holding back. And you could be dealing with the uh, King of Cups. This could be a water sign or someone acting like a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be... Uh, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in reverse. So maybe this person who is around you is upset because things aren't held back or held back tightly enough. Wants to come out. And it has to do with a happy home. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe with the holidays for some, maybe people are spending too much money and it's affecting your happy home. Or your situation around you. I'm seen as a very personal reading, more than money. You know, finances like jobs, but it could be for some of you. The outside environment, Queen of Disc. This also could be what's coming towards you, but I need more cards to find out. Queen of Disc can be an earth element or someone taking on that energy, acting like them. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They are not bright. They got a good head on their shoulders. This 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 sign has a good head on their shoulders, especially when the card is in the upright. And as you know, I read reversals. This is in the upright. And this person is, has sound judgment. <clears throat> They're one of the best cards in the deck for someone who is reliable. But Queen of Disc, why are you there as the outside environment? Hmm, Seven of Cups. They may be offering you options, though. Or it may have to do the reason why they're there, because you got different options that aren't always good for you. It's not that they're offering the options that are good for you. <clears throat> they may be giving you advice on some of the options that you're trying to take, and maybe they're letting you know that these options aren't very good. Because I can't see the Queen of Discs telling you to take uh, uh, options that aren't good for you. I just can't. <clears throat> I can I can see that if they were in reverse, but no. Okay, so the Queen of Discs, Seven of Cups, why are you there for Aries? Yeah, this person is a money person. They're sound and stable with their finances. And maybe I'm trying to hum into the vibrations here. I think they're going to help you because your options weren't very good. They can help you. So if you know who this person is, you may want to look them up and see what is going on with them. Because they may be able to help you in making better choices. Because I don't think you have been holding back your finances too much when it comes to personal home and family. And getting your ha your happily ever after him. Well, not happily ever after your your happy home. I call this the happy home, <clears throat> loving family type situation. And everybody's upset, and they don't know how they're going to come out of this financial um, situation you put yourselves in. And it could be that Aries is feeling this to somebody else. Maybe they're saying you're spending too much money. What is wrong with you? Or trying to some of you may be trying to move and. You were spending too much, and maybe you found out about it with that Seven of Swords, because in the past, maybe someone was spending too much money. That's why I see a lot of this. Someone's, someone's spending too much money, whether you or the person you're involved with. The outcome, you feel like an injustice has been done. Yeah, that, I think this is the really temporary energy. So for Aries, if you don't know this is going on, you may want to look at your banking accounts, <laughs> your credit cards. <clears throat> but that's the adjustment card, also known as justice. It's in reverse. You're feeling like an unjust situation has been done. Now, I, something just came over me. Another feeling that someone made a, made a mistake on your accounts. So really, check, check on some of those because it's something that could be easily rectified. Maybe this is the banker, huh? The queen. But let's find out why injustice has been done as the final outcome. So if you, you can change this. If you don't want that done to you, it's injustice. Check on your accounts. Things may have been taken out of your account by accident, maybe not on purpose. But with that Seven of Swords, uh, could be someone way around you may have taken it. But it's just for a few of you. could be as somebody's just spending too much and you feel like you've been robbed in a way. But let's find out what the adjustment card in reverse is about. Why is it there for Aries? This is a very temporary energy. 
Yeah, there's the Seven of Swords. You definitely find out about it. Okay? So look at your accounts. I mean, it could be any. It doesn't just have to be about money, but it, I'm seeing it as this. But, yeah. You feel like you got to hold back. You can't uh, expand what you want with the full card in reverse. You may feel that someone was being very foolish in their finances and you may hold it back. You do with the Seven of Swords. You got it twice. Someone's kind of doing something under the radar. They don't want you to know. They've been uh, with that Six of Pentacles over here. It's about giving and taking. Someone's taking more than they're given. And it has to do with a lover. Your, your obstacles avoid arguments. Become unchained from this negative situation. Current environment, someone's not holding back. Some of you may, may be trying to move, and people are just spending too much money, and you're going for that happy home, which I think a lot of you will get. But in the meanwhile, you're going to have to deal with these finances because somebody's been overspending. Maybe, like I said, because of the holidays, whatever the reasons are, I don't know. you got that queen that's outside environment. She may be the one telling you that you're uh, you're not making very good decisions or somebody isn't. And it has to do with your wealth. Okay? Because that's the Ten of Pentacles. And just as you feel like it's done, because you find out about the, the situation with the Seven of Swords in reverse. And you feel like you're going to put a halt to the full situation or whatever was happening. Someone was making choices possibly and you may have to turn that, you know, that aren't right. And you may have to turn that around. You may have to become the King of Swords, someone who cuts things out. King of Swords can be an air sign also, or someone, like I said, taking on an energy. You could be taking on this energy. It also, like I said, could be an air sign. It could be um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But they aren't upright, and the King cuts things out. They, they don't mince words. They're straight up. They do not put up with certain situations. And they're very blunt, but he's in the upright, or she is in the upright, and they're they're doing what is right. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're doing what is right in their eyes. And they may come across a little abrupt when they do it. But, hey, they're in the upright, okay? So, this is your reading. <clears throat> I'm going to let this go. Look at your credit card statements. Look at your spending. Because you're going to feel like, ugh, the weight of your shoulders from finances. And this is temporary. I feel this very temporary. Maybe you just had an extravagant week or somebody else did. But you'll work it out. You always do, Aries. Just remember, <clears throat> check things out before you spend, before you hand money. And you may be talking to someone who's very financially stable that'll tell you about your options and maybe how to get back that wealth. So talk to you later. Bye.